teaching an anti-extension exercise. When we're talking about core exercises, I'm a big believer in neutral spine. I'm not a huge, huge proponent of crunches, sit-ups, twists, and things like that, only because I went to the University of Waterloo, where the head of our program is Dr. Stuart McGill, and he is world-renowned for his research in lower back health and lower back rehab. Dr. Stu McGill has proven time and time again through his research that crunches may be something your back does not want to endure repetitive crunching and spinal flexions. So when I get people to do their core exercises, the first thing I'll teach them is anti-extension exercises. In an anti-extension exercise, what you're doing is preventing your spine from arching. The muscles that do that are our abdominal muscles, squeezing nice and tight, our obliques as well, and then finally our glutes. So when I start out in my plank, I'm gonna have my hands shoulder width apart and I'm gonna have my feet shoulder width apart as well. Hand shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart. The other thing that I like to get people to do with their core exercises is make them into a strengthening core exercise. So I'll get them to contract their muscles and squeeze as strong as they can for about 10 seconds versus an endurance exercise where you're getting people to hold planks for 30 seconds, a minute or two minutes. So arm shoulder width apart, I have my humerus, my upper arm bone pointing straight into the floor, feet shoulder width apart, and then I wanna make sure that I'm not dipping. I turn my glutes on, I keep my stomach strong, I'm gonna hold for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, I'm gonna rest. Now we're gonna check out Megan's plank. So she's gonna drop down with her feet, or her arms shoulder width apart. Next thing is the feet are gonna be shoulder width apart. She's gonna prop up. You can have your hands flat like that, no problem, or you can squeeze them into a fist. Notice how her back stays nice and straight. She's not arching and dipping into extension. Stomach is on good. And then I'm gonna cue her to squeeze her glutes. Go for it. Good, and she's gonna squeeze and hold tight. Notice how she's shaking and really exerting. You can rest, great. That's the way you want your plank to be. We wanna teach our core muscles to be nice and strong so that it transfers over into our strong lifts such as our deadlift, our hip thrust, or our squat. So she's gonna pop back up, squeeze the glutes, hold. Good, nice and strong, nice and tight. Anywhere from six, eight, 10 seconds is typically the max and she can come down. And I want you to rest with your stomach on the floor. Great, so the other thing that some people will have an issue with here is they actually won't be able to turn their glutes on in a plank. My fix for this, after years and years of trial and error, is I get them to squeeze their glutes from this position, squeeze your bum, tends to be easier, and then they jump up into their plank, go for it. And now she's able to keep her glutes on tight and hold strong in that 